day 57. So I wanted to come on quickly. It's not going to be a long one today. Talk about a few things. Um, one daily update. I had a really busy day. I was volunteering at the food bank today. And then I just did some cleaning shifts. Um, and then after that, I went and saw a friend at the surf shop. I chatted with him for a bit. Now I'm back home. And I have a client session tonight. So I made sure to nap. <laughs> and take a little bit of me time which was really nice and bring my energy down and so yeah I've um had the realization from the past few days because like now I've been kind of like helping out with cleaning and I might be starting swimming lessons again uh next month and so there's like a lot of moving pieces happening and how to you know balance that all out with my business and not overextend myself as a projector to not burn out. Sometimes as a projector, we can get stuck in generator mode, especially when we see money coming in and we're like, Ooh, okay, let's make all the money. <laughs> and so kind of reeling myself back in and setting boundaries. I don't desire to burn out. And to me, my energy is way more important than money. Money is going to find its way to me and I'm not worried about that. And so... It was really important that I realized to set those boundaries and what those boundaries look like. And so, for example, the swimming lessons, like, what do I really want? Like, how much time do I want to teach? Like, what kind of hours do I want to work for swimming lessons? How many families do I want to do? And the thing is, with swimming lessons is that usually when I do them here, it's kind of anywhere for six weeks and then they take a break or they you know, they kind of like, they get what they need and then they go on their way. So they're not like, it's not a huge long commitment. So this is where I'm thinking of like rotations. And so kind of like how I'm running my coaching business, like do it that way. Do like, I don't do commitments with swimming lessons. I trust that whenever it's over, it's meant to be over. And so, and that it's someone else will be filling that spot because there is, you know, a demand here uh, just because they're aren't many swimming instructors and we live somewhere where there's lakes and the ocean and there's even a pool and the parents are like my kids want to learn swimming lessons and so so it's setting those boundaries of like what do I want that to look like and how long do I want to do that and honestly to be honest I just want to do it once a week three to four hours maximum and that's like go in teach have fun with the kids I love teaching swimming lessons uh at that kind of that amount of time and doing it for a short period of time I don't like I think last summer when I did it I kind of pushed it and like went into August September when I started in May and towards the end I wasn't enjoying it as much the desire my motivation which is in human design desire the desire went away but in divine timing there was a lot of things that popped up during that time that I decided okay time to let it go and so which I did and so now I'm bringing it back in but I'm being very mindful about my desire motivation and I do love teaching swimming lessons because it gives me time to tap into my inner child and the inner child within me and play with the kids. So that's kind of why I'm excited to bring that back. So once a week, three to four hours, which is perfect for my projector energy. And so I'm going to definitely figure out which day. And I do have already some clients interested for that, which is awesome. And so doing that, I am going to still help out cleaning um, my friend probably until mid-May, like officially weekly. But then after that, it might just be like once in a while. Um, it's going to kind of cut down just because she has this like one big um, cleaning to do with like a uh, like a glamping place so and they need her till then but that's like a lot like a lot for her to take on with all the other cleans she does so just helping her out for that uh, and so setting my boundaries with that and it's great because she works week by week day by day and I work week by week day by day so I can monitor my like my own schedule and so even today I saw her I'm like okay so the next few days Thursday Friday Saturday I'm 
belated, like I'm, I'm taking it off. I can help you clean on Sunday. And so setting up boundaries with myself so that I can allow space as a projector we are meant to rest we are not meant to work all the time and the resting and the chilling is the moment where we do get the inspiration where we do get the ideas coming through where we do get the invitations come on coming in and so yeah so the past like week and a half like I've had kind of been like a little bit busier than usual and I want to intentionally add more space to my schedule so I decided to take the next three days and uh, take them off. I think I only have like my like a coaching session on Friday, um, but it's going to be a short one. And so it's like with my coach. And so I'm not worried about that. But then the rest of the time, it's pretty much open and I have like no plans. And I want to keep it that way because I do feel like something's brewing. Something is brewing and I'm not sure what exactly and I want to allow this space for it to come in naturally in my feminine energy without like forcing it or trying to like sit down at a coffee shop and whatnot. I have a feeling like I think it might be around my second book. I feel like because I did write my second book a bunch of pages back in the fall, like in September, I had like a September, I had a day where I was like super inspired and I wrote like basically I wrote it all like but I think it's why I haven't gone back to it is because I know I'm gonna add so much to it and I've been feeling the pull to go back and add because that the second book is like is gonna be a lot more of a deeper topics uh, versus my first book my first book was very much like focused on mindfulness practices and it's a choose your own adventure so like a lot of journal prompts a little bit more fun and you can if you are curious about that you can go check out my link in my bio it's on amazon so feel free to go check that out and but the second one is going to be a deeper level it's going to be more focused on like inner child healing and shadow work and that part of it everything that I've worked like that I've learned and that I've worked on in the past two years and so I am feeling the pull but then I also don't know what else is going to come through I feel like there's some invitations that might come through as a projector so making the intention of setting those that space and then the only other thing I have on Saturday is my free event that, that I have which is uh, called escaping the matrix so definitely if that I'm not releasing any information about it if you feel it you're like oh I want to know what this is send me a dm and I'll send you the link it's a free event um it should be like about an hour live on youtube and yeah I'm excited for that it's gonna be so much fun <laughs> and so that's gonna be on Saturday and there will be a replay available if you can attend live I already have three people signed up, which is pretty awesome, Con like considering I have no information about it. But that's what I love about about this. It's like it's it's like secretive, secretive. So if you feel called to it, you know, send me a message. I might post the link in my stories shortly. Anyways, so if you're watching this, if you're watching this, you can either check my stories if the link is there or send me a message. Anyways, it's me flopping. So yeah, so being very intentional about my schedule, being very intentional about my time and my boundaries and knowing how much I can take on as a as a projector, like, but as me, as who I am as a projector, every projector is different. And if you are a projector, the amount that you can take on is way different than what I can take on or like how you can take it on is a lot more different. And so wanted to just share that with you and where I'm at and yeah that's it I'm going to hop off and make some food and then get ready for my client meeting but thank you so much for those who hopped on live I hope you had a lovely day and I will speak to you tomorrow bye